I found an unused hula hoop in the toy chest. So I picked up a few more and today we're going to put this hula hoop together. This one happened to come in six pieces and I had to have some extra handy hands here because this is really hard to put together. So, <laughs> okay, now we've got two hula hoops and we're going to put them together just like this. Okay, now we're gonna wire it. So I've taken this paddle wire and I'm gonna secure it as tight as I can at the top. Okay, now I'm just gonna leave this end sticking up and then I'm going to come around and then go around the other side. And you wanna pull really snug when you do this. And we're gonna come back around with that tail and we're gonna secure it. And just tuck your little end in, just like that. Now we're gonna turn it over and do the exact same thing to the bottom. So the beauty of these hula hoops is that they come apart. So on the third one, I undo it so that the one end is on the top, is on the outside, and the bottom is on the inside. So then I'm gonna push this together and then I'm going to secure it with a wire. Okay, now that our orb is together, we're now gonna spray paint it. I'm using this Color Shot uh, black matte paint and we're gonna spray the entire thing. I like this paint because it has a really good coverage. You can see how well that's covering. So you're gonna have to do part of it and then let it dry and then come back and do the rest. Now our orb is painted and I'm going to add some fairy lights. So I bought these fairy lights at Michael's and what I love about these is that there's greenery on the wire. I bought one strand of lights for each hula hoop. So I bought three of these and I've tied them onto a knot here. And then I'm simply going to wrap them around the hula hoop and turn it as you go. These, each of these strands are 10 feet long. I have this all in one piece, but it wants to spring apart. So I'm just gonna let it be. And then I'm gonna keep going until I've gone all the way around. Okay, now I'm going to attach the second strand of fairy lights. So you can see that I just kind of tied that right there. Then I let that go. I put a, I'm gonna try to keep this one together if I can this time. And I'm just going to wrap around again. Okay, so now it's time to place my orb. I've decided I'm gonna put it in this empty bird bath that the only thing I could grow is ivy. So I have put the three controllers for the lights in a flower pot. And you're gonna see, I'm just going to place this right in the middle, just like that. Now, I know I don't wanna look at those controllers, so I've got this sweet little bird's nest and I'm just going to place it on top so that you don't see the controllers. Now I have planted some ivy and around the edges, or I had it there actually, and you can wrap some of this ivy up and around and it will grow on the hula hoop eventually. It might take a little bit of time or you can just leave it to, to hang over as well. Just what I need for my latest project, hula hoops. You're gonna to wanna to take your hula hoops and take some metallic paint that's made for plastics. Get an area where you won't mind any of the overspray, which I've protected, and you're going to paint these gold. Now you're going to want to get some kind of a clear sealer. I'm using this Rust-Oleum Triple Thick Glaze and 
after you're sure that you have got your hula hoop nice and gold and no nicks, you're gonna want to spray with a light coat of the glaze. And that will keep any nicks from forming in the, or getting knocked in the plastic. Right here, we're going to drill a hole in each side of the gold um, painted hula hoops. Even though I was really careful, you can see that some of the paint uh, scraped away. I would still paint these ahead of time and seal them ahead of time, but I will be going back over this after I get it assembled. So time to assemble our hoops. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put one hoop inside the other and try and line up my holes where I have drilled. And I'm going to go outside and push all the way through. And then I'm going to push it through the next one. So I have it through two hoops like so. And now I need to get it through the third one. There we go. I had it through all three and then before it slips back off, I'm going to put a nut on that. And when I paint these, this will get painted also. After you have screwed your hula hoops together, right there and right up there, the top and the bottom, you're going to kind of have an orb. I'm going to take a dollar store decorative cake tray and put a small hole in it. The way I'm going to put the hole in there is just with an old, very sad old glue gun. It's on high temperature and I'm just going to put it right down. I'll turn it sideways so you can see right in the middle of there and I won't even have to get it over very far, uh, put it very far through there. That is probably all we need. And now I'm going to try and put this right over top of that screw. You don't need to force this so that it cracks your plate just to hold it there. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna take some Gorilla Clear Grip Contact Adhesive. I am going to secure the plate right here to my hula hoop. In addition to gluing the plate, use that same Gorilla Clear Grip. If you like some all-purpose adhesive better, you can. And I'm going to put a generous amount wherever these hoops meet. Now I need to have this hanging, which is how it's going to eventually be. So I am working in my garage and I have just hung it from my garage door with some wire. So now I can go to work on the easy part. The construction of this was the hard part. With your glue gun on low temperature, what you're gonna do is put a generous amount and then we're gonna stick a chunk of styrofoam and that will secure it to our plastic plate. I've gotten out all of my fairy lights and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take them. If you want this to be permanent, you can use hot glue, but I don't want this to be permanent. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and tape these with clear floral tape right around my styrofoam on my plate. So I've placed six different packs of fairy lights around so that there'll be one to go up each of the pieces of hula hoop. And I'm just going to take some of this clear tape and tape them all down to my plastic plate so that they nothing falls off. When they're all taped down, I'm going to start taking them and wrapping them around my hula hoop um, all the way up to the top. And I, want to, I do want to make sure down here where the cord is hasn't got any lights on it that I, I'm not using that. I want to make sure that my lights start way down at the bottom. The next thing I'm going to do now that I have my lights secure, my styrofoam here, is I'm going to make a flower arrangement that kind of flows down. If your stems are stiff enough, you will be able to take them and push them right into your styrofoam and they will hold. 
So I'm gonna start with some uh, flat eucalyptus greenery and add that all the way around. And then for me, a natural for this would be wisteria that hangs down. Same thing, my stems are stiff enough so I can just stick them right in and I'm gonna let them flow right down over our whole contraption here. So I've raised this up a little bit so that you can see it a little better and I'm just gonna continue adding my white wisteria and moving up, not all down around the bottom edge. So that's how you take hula hoops and make a beautiful chandelier, particularly gorgeous outside in your garden. Wonderful for a garden party or just for summertime.